Yo, what up? I'm gonna show you guys, or I'm gonna show the one guy who asked how to do the stuff in the create mode. Um, first, let's demonstrate the height glitch. This is not one I came up with. This is like, this is a, as far as I know, a pretty commonly understood and documented glitch. This is one I literally learned from another YouTube tutorial. But for the sake of having everything in one spot, let's just do it here. Awesome. So what you want is your track. You see that I've put it at the highest possible height. Hence why I made those big ass mountains to put my track on. Um, so we're in the quick edit now. And you can see that I can lower the track. But there is a max height that it won't let me take it past. However, if I make a bank, you'll see that the center point of the track is now higher than the surrounding track. So if I go to lift and go to continuous adjust, the next part of the track actually jumps up. And I can make the bank on that steeper. Continuous adjust, bank. Yeah, you could literally do this for days. I did this for three hours one time and but by the time I was done, uh, <laughs> I was well outside the skybox, everything was just dark and sad. That video is literally on my channel, it's called Height Glitch, you can go watch it if you want to. Yeah, so you can literally just do this for days, I'm going to do this for a little bit longer, just so you can see uh, just how strange it gets. Um, because if I do this for long enough, you'll be able to see that there is actually only one side to the collision of the roads. Um, yeah, if I'm able to get the camera in the right place, which I probably won't, honestly, because it's <laughs> not easy to control this camera. Yeah, there we go. You can, yeah, so the, the road doesn't exist from below, which makes those guys look like they're floating. Which means, yes, if you approach the road from below, you can go straight through it. In fact, let's do that now, why don't we? Um, if I can give myself something to jump off. Where are we? Yeah! Then we should be able to go straight through. Uh, to make this easier on myself, what I will do is get rid of some fences. Go back a bit. Um, in fact, let's make this really easy for myself. Yeah, look, look how easy is that. So now I've deleted this section of the track. And then this takes us through the bottom of the track and back up on top. Very cool. Use this information literally however you like. I, I don't know what application any of this has. This is just random crap I've found while spending too many hours in this game. Okay, um, while we're here, I'm going to quickly show you what am I doing? Can I get yeah I was in the right place. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna flatten this out again. Ooh. Very cool. Okay, to do this you have to be in place along track. Um, this is this is how I delete the start line in many videos. Um, so you see that you can actually select the start line, but if I'm I'm pushing triangle right now and it won't let me delete it, uh, you can you can move it around, which is a genuinely useful function if you're trying to play the game properly. Um, I'm not. This is a valid start line location. Okay. I've actually never seen that menu before because I've never tried to 
play this game <laughs> correctly. Um, hold up, what do we need? Uh, we're gonna go to place props, and remember we're in place props along track. This only works if you're in place props along track, because only then is this little circle representing the start line visible. Oops. <laughs> Take me back. How do I get out of how do I get out of this? Oh god. Okay, we're gonna pass we're gonna make some trees. We're gonna make too many of them. And then get rid of them all at once. <coughs> Again, this is not something I discovered, this is something that someone else documented. Um but anyway. Um let's just spam trying. There is now nothing here. Um, however, if you were to do, um, if you were to do a race, that spot on the track still functions exactly as you'd expect it to. Just the the, the start line is invisible. Um, actually, where are the? I'm surprised. Usually there's still the little markers that show you where everyone's supposed to spawn in. Maybe they... Yeah, there they are. See? The little... The little white markings on the road are still there. But the road is gone. wonder if I could do a lap skip. Yeah. that work? No, it didn't. Anyway, um, let's go back to the track studio, and I'll show you the, I guess it's the last glitch. Um, yeah. Actually, before I do this, I'll just show you another little fun thing. What am I going to do? I'm going to go repave. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah, I want my elevation about there. This might not work given where the starting line is, in which case I'll have to... Yep. I'll just do this for a bit. What I'm doing now... God damn it. It's my elevation. I need to go further down maybe. Let's go like that. drive really far away and this time there'll be really no excuses for it not working. What I'm doing now is I'm just going down to the lowest height because we've explored being at the highest of the heights now we're just gonna go down and my favorite way to go down is to make these big spirals There is, a, there is a good reason to make these spirals, I'll get to that later, once you see what I'm about to do. So basically, I you saw me do the height glitch, and the height glitch is not something I came up with. But immediately after doing the height glitch, I thought to myself, well surely there's like a reciprocal depth glitch if you just perform all of the inputs backwards. And pretty much, sure enough, there is... Okay, uh... You can see my elevation is cutting out, which means that we must be on the floor. Um, how do I how do I finish the track? There we go. Excellent! What a what a lovely, beautiful track. Okay, it's time to do the depth glitch, 
and we're gonna go right to the bottom of my big ass spiral. Um, here we go. And we're gonna go edit. And we're gonna go not track. We're gonna quick edit. Now, before what we did, um, if you remember. Oh, actually. So we, we took the lift to the highest height. <coughs> this time we're gonna take it to the lowest low. And this is as low as it wants to go. Now we're gonna give everything some bank. Continuous adjust. Just give everything all of that bank. Because for the height glitch, you start with it flat. You put some bank on it, and then you do the continuous adjust. In this version, you start with it banked, and then you remove the bank to take the, the road lower than it should be. I, I'm not explaining this very well. Uh, wow, this video is already 11 minutes. This is, this is not a fast video. <coughs> yeah, I mean... I really don't need to be doing this. Um, let's just speed this up. Okay, here we are. So this is the flat bit of road. Uh, if I go continuous adjust, because the spit was banked, it's now gone lower than it should be, and now I can flatten it out. So this is now my flat bit of road. Continuous adjust on the lift side of things. Bank. Yeah, so this is... This is the glitch that I like to take credit for because I haven't, I haven't seen anyone else do it. Um, this is what I used in that video, cool track, bro. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Obviously, I don't put a whole lot of time and effort into naming my tracks. Anyway. Um, you can now see that I'm staring directly at the grass, and it's hard to see what I'm doing. Um, before when I was making that big spiral staircase thing, I said there was a good reason for doing that. Um, in my experience at least, different shapes of track allow you to see them below the grass. So right now I'm doing this flat stretch of road and it's not really letting me see a whole lot of what's happening below the ground so it's actually quite hard to tell if I've flattened out the bank I'm mostly just doing it off muscle memory um, however if I was instead working on the section of the track with the big spiral which I specifically made for this uh, it would be more likely that I'd be able to have the camera in a position under the grass where I'd be able to see what I'm doing. Um, just to see how far down I've taken the track, I'm gonna take the section of track, go continuous adjust on the lift, and then just move backwards for a bit. So I'm flattening everything out to the level <coughs> of that last section of track, which should be the lowest section of track if I've done everything correctly. Alright, I'm already bored. <laughs> let's just let's just drive. Oh cool, I'm underwater. That's not good. <coughs> um When this happens, it's usually a bad thing. This usually means that every spawn location is now underwater and it's having a terrible time trying to work out where you are. Uh and that means this loading sc oh Okay. What I was doing there was I was like spamming the pause button in anticipation that it was going to put me back down underwater, in which case the loading screen would come up and it would be this terrible purgatory. And the only, like, that happens if the entire track is underwater and there's nowhere correct for you to be spawned in and then you're stuck in this infinite loop of loading screens and then you just have to be ready to pause as soon as the loading screen drops down. Anyway, this is fine. Um, but what that means is oh that's cool now we can see yeah that was all underwater so what we actually need to do is find out um 
what we need to do to get rid of all of that water is to find the, the, the finish line. There we go. Okay, maybe it's not the finish... Okay, that, that's a new discovery for me. I was about to say we needed to flatten out the entire track so that the position of the starting line, which is this section of the track here, there we go, is below water. Because the, the, the game, I think, has this fail-safe mechanic where if you put the starting line below water, then the water in the world will empty out to be below the starting line, because it really doesn't like the starting line being below water. But what happened there was not what I expected. Um, water did not empty out once I reached the starting line. Water emptied out once I reached the point where the starting line used to be before I shifted it. So that's an interesting nuance. Yeah, right now I am flattening out the spiral staircase, which is another very dumb thing that I like to do, because then it means you have the entire spiral staircase flat, which means you just drive in circles. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoy the toilet water sounds. Don't know if you can hear that. And we are almost ready to do some fun driving. Oh, I forgot to say, um, if you create a branching track, um, bef before you take anything underground, if you go mod track and you add some branches, the branches, um, they don't get dragged underground when you're doing quick adjust on the main track. Hence why in in the track, um, or in that video I made, Cool Track Pro, that's the reason why some of the track is still above ground, that's because that was a branching path, um, and so that branching path is still above ground. Yep, yeah, so I haven't, I haven't, oh, I'm underwater, am I? That's, that's not good, I'm gonna have to <laughs> pause and get out of this. Okay. There we go. We're going back to Track Studio. Uh, that's <laughs> not good. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, damn it. I should have been ready to pull down. Oh, okay. Some other track is above water. Okay. Yeah. Here's a little spiral staircase. Um, I didn't flatten it out completely, apparently. <laughs> Which is going to be a problem, I think. Oh god. Hmm. Wow, okay, excellent. Excellent game. I'm really enjoying these noises. I th I th oh, we're back, we're back, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna go quick edit. wonder where the lowest point is. It's impossible to know. Um, that's coming up towards the camera, I can tell. That's going down. I think that looks pretty flat. I'm just gonna go ahead like, oh, we can see what we're doing, that's good. Um, wow, this is... <laughs> this is really chugging along. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just try to flatten it all out, um, see if we can get the water into a position where the game's actually playable. Great, I can't see anything. Um, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so... 
Where's the where's the start line bit? Because we need to make sure the starting line is the lowest section of the track. Because it's the starting line that's going to determine where the water level is. And if the starting line is the lowest part of the track, then everything else being above the starting line should theoretically be above. Honestly, we can work with this. Okay, we can't work with that. Okay, that was good. That, oh, I was about to say it put the camera somewhere nice for us. But I speak too soon. Hopefully this is fine now. Oh, look, this looks fine. This is what I was talking about. Oh god. That's not what I was talking about. Okay, yeah, if I... If I wanted to spend more time on this, I could... Get rid of the huge tilt on the track, and then I could make this just a lovely donut that you can drive around all day long. Um... We're not gonna do that. No one's got time. I'm just gonna hit race. And then I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Listen to the roar of those crowds. Oh sorry, that's my portable What an excellent looking track. Yeah, so <laughs> of course you can still see the sky in this, which is an indication that I haven't done that stupid depth glitch for two hours straight. Um, you know, in other videos, if you've seen them, you'll know that I did that glitch for a lot longer. I spent way too long taking the, the track as low as it could probably go, which means that the track was well below the skybox, but in this video, of course, I'm only slightly below the grass, and still within the skybox. Wow, what an excellent game. This is a good game. How am I fifth? This is, this is a good game. Anyway, that's, that's the excellent game. Subscribe, or don't, I never post. 